Hello and welcome to the 5 best targets to image in November. We will pick our 3 favorite objects to photograph as beginners and we'll tell you why. We'll also be adding 2 difficult targets for our more advanced viewers. Let's get to it! Welcome to November's 5 targets for the month. And again, we're going to start off with our beginner targets. And the first one? My, fa my favorite one is going to be M45, representing. <laughs> M45 is uh, by far the easiest cluster for beginners. It's, it looks magnificent, it's blue. Um, it's actually stars from an open cluster uh, passing in front of some nebulosity, which you can see behind the stars. Or the other way around, I remember. Doesn't matter. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is temporary, so in a, in a few million years, I don't think there will be any gas behind the stars anymore. So M45 is a great target for any size telescope, and um, there is also so much gas all around it, so if you have a small telescope or even a DSLR camera, you can see a bunch of stuff all around it. That's a great target. What's your favorite? For November, uh, I guess my favorite, and we've had this discussion a lot, Galactic Hunter followers, of the heart and soul, which are great together, and it'd be it's really good to put them together in one frame. And as you've heard me say before, and I apologize for all of your children and everybody else who hears, but I still, to this day, think it looks like a tingling. And <laughs> the Heart Nebula. It's but it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I love the colors on it. Um, and it does look like a heart and other things. I think if you take off the fish head, it would look like a heart for her. But because of the fish head, she thinks it's We don't need else. to talk about it. Anyway, so yeah, the heart and soul are, are great together. You can either get the, the heart by itself or the soul by itself. <laughs> or both together I mean, uh, you, in one you, frame. Yeah, if you put them together, you can just hear that song. And we'll stop right there because copyright. Copyright. Anyway. <laughs> and uh, yeah, those are great nebulae. Uh, what's our third target for the uh, beginner objects this month? Is going to be. What is it? The double cluster. Oh, the double cluster. So the double cluster is or two global clusters uh, very close to each other in Perseus. And you can get them very, very easily. They are bright, they are large. And if you feel like it, you can also use an HA filter to capture a bunch of gas all around, which I was surprised about when I found this out. It's, there is so much HA gas all around the cluster, and uh, it's impressive. Then we have two advanced targets for this month. Um, talk about the um, Flaming Star, IC405. So Flaming Star just Sounds exactly what it is. Looks like a flaming star. There's a bunch of gas around it that makes it <clears throat> look like it's on fire. Yeah, it's pretty much a, a bright star. There's a, a bunch of smoke-looking gas coming out of it. It's it's kind of difficult because it's faint and the star is so is so bright. Um, but um, it's overall a great target. Yeah. It's better with small size telescopes to medium size telescopes because if you use a, a, a large telescope, you won't see the whole um the whole thing by itself so you should you know try to do it wide field and uh, get all that gas that expels around uh but you know it seems to expel from the star and uh it's beautiful and then the last one um another one for advanced astrophotographers is going to be it has a weird name um oh it's shopless 2 188 it looks like a small a small like round flame uh, is just a pretty object, it's a pretty nebula, it's rarely photographed and I believe it's mostly made of HA and uh, oxygen but um, it's, like a, it's like a beautiful flame, it's, it's just beautiful, it's just a flame like that in space, you, you can see it right here, it's, it's beautiful but it is difficult to, to photograph for beginners, I believe you need a pretty great telescope as well as a good um, okay. cool camera for sure and filters in our band. So these were uh, our five targets for this month and uh, if you guys want to uh, check out our beginner guides for the best targets for the whole year we have either uh, our book right here 
or we have guides for each season on our website online. So we'll see you guys next time and catch guys. guys.